have a very boring life, okay? I sat there and diamond painted and played with their dogs. But that's what I was supposed to have done. That's what I did. Except for I went to, uh, you know, I went to church. And, of course, he's the assistant pastor. So, of course, he expects me to go to church, right? <laughs> you know? Just because you're house-sitting does not mean you cannot go to church. You can still go to church. We let you go to church. You know. And uh, I just, I thought it was kind of funny. I was like, okay, I, I took care of your house. You're welcome. <laughs> also, last week we had a day of prayer at downtown. Uh, it was the first one the city had. And I thought it was really good that the, you know, a, a lady from my church organized it. And she did a really good job at doing that at such short notice. And she got all these people together to pray for the for the government all the way down from the president to the local offices. And she organized, um, there was all kinds of different churches, okay? She organized, called pastors, and we had like about an hour's worth of people praying for different organizations from schools to businesses for, um, you know, all sorts of things, okay? For the government, for the military, for the first responders, for the hospitals, for, for this, that, and the other, everything under the sun. And she organized it all. And I was just like, I was kind of proud of her for doing that. So kudos to you. I know you probably don't watch my channel, but you know, I, I told you this to your face and, and I was like, kudos, good job organizing it. So yay. I don't think a lot of my church people know about my crafting channel. One of them does. And I don't think she actually watched my videos. So hi, Trudy, if you're watching. Hey, Trudy and Jean. If you're watching. And the associate pastor's family. Pray with pray, pray keep them in your prayers because they've been experiencing family issues and family loss with their with their dad and and uh you know, just keep everyone in your prayers. They have prayer, right? We need to do that all the time. Speaking of which, another thing that needs prayer is Walmart's, okay? Now, why do I say Walmart's needs prayer? Because Sunday I was at my house, not doing anything. I was actually thinking of making a grocery list and going to Walmart. And I was actually on the computer doing the, you know, the little cyber shopping thing, www.com order placing thing. And um, it, it clicked that the store was closed. And, you know, this is like in between the church services, so I know it's... I know it's not closed, and I know it's for, like, a pickup of it another day. And I'm like, it's the middle of the day. It's not closed. I could just run up and go. You know, I was thinking I could just run up to the store and get, get some stuff and that I needed, and I thought about it. And then my Facebook started exploding with the neighborhood watch stuff. And they're like, there's a bomb there at Walmart. I'm sorry. You're threatening Walmart. I, I know I'm not a huge fan of Walmart either, but I live in a small city. It's either a grocery store or Walmart. Um, I don't have a lot of choices over here grocery-wise, so it's one of two places unless I go to a neighborhood city. Uh, yeah, so uh, pray for the ones that are doing the bomb scaring. That's that's not nice. That That's not a very nice thing for you to do. It's It's not nice to scare people. It's not nice to panic people. Um, I'm pretty sure it's against the law and, you know, yeah. Just, just pray for our, our community. We don't need to be doing that to each other. We've got so many issues in this world and, you know, the, the crime is on the increase and it's just, it's, it's getting to be a bad world. Bad, bad world. So pray for Keep the world in your prayers, okay? And yes, I know. I do have a whole page of notes. I'm forgetful like that. So let's see. What else did I want to talk about? I mentioned the farmer's market. Oh, yes. Last, well, not last week, but yesterday, my hubby, uh, we decided in between church, you know, after we figured out that Walmart was going to get blown up, and it didn't get blown up. It was just a threat. But um, we decided to avoid Walmart for a day or two. <laughs> So we went up to Springfield at this one Japanese garden that you can pay like five dollars to walk through and walk through the gardens. Now keep in mind I am disabled. I don't
don't walk that far and I don't walk that fast. And I was looking at the brochure that they give you right, right after you pay for it. And, um, uh, you know, because I'd never been there before, so I was looking at the little pamphlet. And they were describing the little uh, little scenes and, and whatnot, little landscaping and what the bushes were and, you know, whatnot. And, um, y'all, it was seven miles. Now, I did not do all of seven miles. I gave out after, I don't know, I don't know how long. It wasn't that long into it. I'm not much of a walker. We made it to the koi pond. <laughs> and about the koi pond, I was like, Honey, I'm getting tired. My hips hurt, and his his uh, knee was hurt, starting to ache him. He's like, I was like, let's just head back. Let's go around the edge of the pond and head back, cause I'm tired. We need to get back to church. And I I didn't go to church, cause my by the time we got around the koi pond and back to the car, I was I was spent. It does not take much to wear me out. I was spent. He went on to church because he runs the sound system and he doesn't trust doesn't trust people with his baby, his computer. Well, yeah. Even though he should. There's three other people trained to do that and people just don't want to do it. Lack of commitment. Dedication, y'all. Dedication. It takes dedication. But anyway, there's that. And so that's why he's willing to help me with my channel and he knows how to get, you know, he helped me pick up the camera and... He's going to show me how to do it and how to improve my channel. So I'm looking forward to doing that and learning how to do this and do better for my channel. So I'm thankful that he knows how to do it and how to help me because that's what he does at church. So, Yay that. At the farmer's market, there was also dogs up for adoption now. I told my husband, you know, hey, this he had to work Saturday. And, and um, so I was like, I'm going to go up to the farmer's market and look around, see what they have and, and whatnot. And they had dogs up for adoption. Now, keep in mind, I told him I was going to go looking for strawberries. Now, the dog I was thinking about getting was a little Australian Shepherd mix dog. And all my dogs have been mixes. And it was like $80 for an adoption. I didn't have $80. I could have gone to the bank and got more money. That That's not the issue. <sighs> How do you explain coming home from the farmer's market with a dog? That you you and your hubby both agreed you weren't going to get. And, uh, yeah. I didn't get said dog. I almost got said dog. Then I'm like, no, I can't help the uh, assistant pastor and his wife whenever they go out of town if I have said dog. I need to be over there to help them. So, uh, yeah, I didn't get said dog. But it was a cute little Australian. It was white. It was like a blue merle. It was um, mostly white with a what they call a blue saddle. It was so cute. It had one blue eye, one brown eye. So cute. High energy. Probably more high energy in being a puppy than I really could take care of at the moment. Another reason I didn't get it, it was young puppy. And I'm like, uh, yeah, me, young puppy, running after it. Um, No, I don't run. So, there's that. I didn't get said puppy. I could just see myself coming home from there and, and having a puppy and I'd have to name it Strawberry or something because I was going to the market looking for strawberries and came home with a puppy. I could just see myself doing that. And they're lucky that I didn't have another 30 bucks in my pocket. Because <laughs> strawberry would have been mine. <laughs> and it would have been a fuzzy dog instead of a strawberry, you know, strawberry, the fruit. <sighs> Y'all, it was a cute puppy, though. I've been thinking about getting another dog. We missed the sound of paws in the in the house. Hubby told me that just last night, and I'm like, yeah, I know. And I told him about the farmer's market dog. I'm like, mm, I wish you'd have told me that earlier. I would have had a, a, a Australian Shepherd by now. And he's like, what? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, he was actually willing to, to get said Australian Shepherd. I'm like, oh, my gosh. He's like, you know how much those dogs are? I'm like, it wasn't papered. It wasn't pure. It was a pound puppy. Y'all, I was like, I, I can't take care of one. I'm not able to take care of one. If it, if I got one, it'd be a service dog. Of course, it'd be a smart dog. It'd, it'd be a good dog for that. But you know, I just, I don't really want another dog. I'm still hurting from from Daisy. 
Remember her, the little black and white one that had to be put down for cancer? Yeah. I do editing. I need to throw in a video right, or not video, but a picture of Daisy right about here. So you can see Daisy. She died back in January, and I miss her terribly still, so, yeah. I, it was time. They tell you when it's time, and it was her time, and it just... It killed me. My hubby went with me, but it just, it's still, mm, yeah. It's never easy, and I, 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 I'm, you know, I just don't want to go through it again quite yet. And plus, we like, we've been trying to go, and now that it's spring, there's more concerts that we want to go to when he has the weekend off, which doesn't happen too often, but sometimes he gets a Saturday off. Or Friday night, we can go to a nearby town or, or you know, in, out of state and uh, to Arkansas, rather. I call that out of state, even though it's like two hours away. And listen to a concert. Uh, one of my, well, I'd say friends, but acquaintances, uh, I wanted to go to their birthday bash at their church. And they're a musician group called the Builderbacks. And they're based out of Arkansas. I did not, was not able to get a, a chance to go. She had emailed me about it, and I was like, I'll try to go, but I don't know what hubby's schedule's like, and and this was like a month before the event happened, and I was just, I, I sent her an email. I was like, I'm not able to make it. I'm sorry. I'll see you in June when they come down to do our church at the, at the, um, at the pavilion downtown. We're going to do a like a singing in the streets type thing in the, in the, uh, in June. So that'll be fun. I'll, I'll go listen to them then. I was able to catch it on live thanks to technology. I was able to listen to it on live video. So I didn't exactly miss it. I just wasn't there in person. So yeah, technology is wonderful, right? Who knows, I might even try try Twitch. I don't know. I'll get it figured out. Something else to play with to improve the channel, right? But anyway, I guess that's about all I have to... I think I've talked on everything. That I'm checking my notes. Um, yeah, I think I've touched on just about everything. I think I'm going to let you go and let this go over to the, to the uh, computer and get it editing and get it posted. Okay. All right. I shall see you in the next one. Have a good day. Bye.